So now I'm just going to demonstrate how to install Windows updates offline using WSUS offline update. This continues from my previous video which tells you how to prepare the offline updates. There are multiple advantages in installing all these updates offline. The first one is when you connect to the internet initially, your Windows version will be much more secure. The second main reason is that it's unattended and saves you a lot of time because you will have to manually restart the computer multiple times and it can take significantly longer than the Windows install to update Windows 7 fully. You can use this time to do something else. And finally, this update cycle installs most of the generic Windows 7 updates without the interference of any third-party drivers or software, which can sometimes cause problems with the Windows update especially with major updates such as service packs. So the folder for the USB update, I'm just going to copy it to the C drive. Normally you would copy it to an external drive and then copy from the external drive to the C drive. But because this is a virtual machine, I can just drag and drop it across. So now I'm just gonna open this folder and check that everything's copied across. So now I'm just going to maximize the virtual machine and I'm just going to open up system properties. I'm just going to confirm that this is a Windows 7 32 bit install with Service Pack 1. It's unactivated and it's offline. You can see that the Ethernet to the bottom right is disconnected. So we go to computer, uninstall or change a program and we can view what's installed and we can view installed updates. And we can see that there's not really anything installed, just one update. So we can close this. And now we can launch the update installer. Accept the user account control prompt. And now we can have a look at the options. So the first thing I'm going to select is install Internet Explorer 11. I don't need to install 10 or 9. So I'm going to update the C++ runtime libraries and I'm going to install Microsoft Silverlight. I'm going to install .NET Framework 4.x and I'm going to install Microsoft Security Essentials. I'm going to update Remote Desktop Client I'm going to verify installation packages and I'm going to select automatic reboot and recall. The automatic reboot and recall is important because it automates the process, i.e. it creates a temporary administrative account without a password. The WSUS offline update automatically launches the command prompt and restarts the computer after each update cycle. It then automatically logs into this account, begins the command prompt, and begins to install the remaining updates. It'll need to restart several times, depending on how many updates need to install. For a clean install of Windows 7, this can be close to 100 to 200 updates. When selecting Microsoft Security Essentials, you'll need to accept the Windows Genuine Advantage check. You can select this or you can opt not to have this. If you don't have this, you won't have Microsoft Security Essentials. So I'm just going to press start and already some of the updates have installed on the recording. I've sped this up 64 times because it can be quite time consuming and it's best just to leave your computer alone while this is running especially since it'll be logged in as a temporary account. So Windows has restarted again, and this is the last restart. You're logged in as your normal profile, and you see it's setting up personal settings for Internet Explorer. So I'm just looking at the list of installed programs, and now the list of installed updates. And you can see that quite a lot of updates have been installed now compared to the small amount at the start. 